observation in support of De Broglie's assumption that moving particles behave like waves. Now we are told to these three observations in support of the Broglie assumption that what we need to behave like what a wave. Now we are talking about the Broglie rules. The Broglie assumptions. The Broglie assumptions is that a free particle moving with a velocity of v and of mass m should have a what a wavelength which is related to the what to the momentum in a certain way as what as photons so meaning that what a particle can have what can have momentum like what like photon and also can have the what a wavelength like what photon so with this now the problem was able to postulate that what particles will behave like a wave because they have wavelength. So now one of the observations that can be used to support what the process law is that what particle as what well. it discovered that the particle as what well. wavelength and frequency. The particle shows what the particle shows shows what the particle and what particles are wavelengths. The moving particle has wavelength and frequency. That's one of the things that can support what the observation it has wavelength and frequency. The particle has wavelength and frequency. Number two, the what they diffract and what interfere. That is, they have what they exhibit what diffraction. They exhibit what diffraction. They also exhibit what inference. Interference. It exhibits interference. Which are the properties of what? Of waves. And so these are the three things that you can use to support the de Broglie word assumption. Because a free particle moving with what? With a non relativistic velocity and of mass m has a wavelength that is related to the momentum in just the same way as what? As photon that is light behaving. As particles. So that's that. Question number six A. Write down the names of two particles used in explaining the wave nature of matter. Write down the two particles which is used in explaining the wave nature of matter. That's six A. So in the previous video that I posted on what? On wave particle duality of matter, I use what? Atomic particles for particles that behave like what like light or light waves now these particles are atomic particles atomic particles one of the particles that is used to explain the wave nature of matter so number one particle is what the electrons which is an atomic particle number two is what the the proton or hydrogen atom is used. The proton or hydrogen atom is used to explain what the wave nature of a particle. So these are the particles that are majorly what use electron, proton. Also sometimes they can use what helium. So these are the major what these are the major particles that can be used to explain the wave nature of matter. That is six A for you. Six B. It says state the characteristics which are expected by the particles. These particles, when they are behaving like the what, like the wave, they exhibit what? Diffraction. Just like we said the other time, diffraction. Two, they have interference. 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 So another thing that they have frequency and what, and wavelength, and so on and so forth. So question number seven now says that. But someone says that the mass and the wavelength of a moving electron, the mass and the wavelength of a moving electron are this and this. So the mass is 9.0 times 6 power minus 31 and 1.0 times 6 power minus 10 meter respectively. Calculate the kinetic energy of the electron. The mass, we are told that the mass of 
moving the electron, mass of moving electron is what? 9.0 times 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram. And the wavelength, the wavelength is given as what? 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 10 meter. Calculate the kinetic energy, you have to calculate the kinetic energy of the electron, the kinetic energy of the electron. Now, how do you get that? The kinetic energy of the electron is given as what? Half mv what? Squared. The kinetic energy is given as half mv squared. Half mv squared. Now, we, are, we know the mass, but we don't know the what? The velocity. So, we can use the Broglie force to get the velocity. The Broglie force says that what? Lambda is equal to h all over what momentum, which is the same as mv. Momentum is the same as what mv. So we can easily get our v from here. So now making v solid for now we have v is equal to what by cross multiplication we have what v equal to h over what now m lambda. So we have m lambda. So that is V for you. You are going to be solid over the formula now. Substitute your value. V is equal to what? Your plan constant. 6.6 times x to power minus 34. What's your mass? 9.0 times 10 to the power what? Minus 31. Times what's your lambda? 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 10. So bracket close. Bracket is and press on calculate to what we have. Now, Open bracket, open bracket, 6.6 multiplied by 10 to the power minus or 30. Bracket close, divided by 9.0, 9.0 times 10 to the power minus 31 times 1.0 times 10 to the power minus. 10 bracket close. We have what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7.3, 3, 3, 3, that is 10 is to power what? 7 meter per second. 7 meter per second. So in standard form, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 7 point three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have what? 10 to the power what? 6. V equals 7 point 3, 3, 10 to the power what? 6 in standard form because we need to express the standard form. So this is the outside standard for 7 point 3, 3, 10 to the power minus 6. Or 10 to the power 6. So that is the velocity. Now we cannot get the, what? the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of the electron is equal to half times what? Half mv square, which is half times m. What is the m? 9.0 times 10 to the power minus 31 multiplied by the v square. 7.333 times 10 to the power 6 all square. So k e has the maximum kinetic energy of the world. The maximum to the kinetic energy of the electron is that to what? So you press 9.0 multiplied by what? 10 to the power minus 31 multiplied by double bracket 7.333 times 10 to the power what? 6 bracket to square. So what do we have? Divided by what? 2 I mean, divided by 2. Divided by 2, we have 2.419 times 10 to the power minus 7 joule. So that is the what? That is the kinetic energy of the electron. So we calculate the velocity from the what? From the developing postulate. We see that lambda is calculated by m. So we get 7.3 times 10 to the power minus 10 to the power 6 meter per second. So 9.0 minus 31 times 7.33 times 10 to the 6 all what? Square. All square. So when you test it, and then you divide it by what? By 2. Divide it by 2. So we get 2.419 times 10 by what? Minus 17 joules. So that's by what? By 7 number 8 now. 
and by an extra two operate an extra two operate at the potential of what two thousand five hundred. So the potential at which of the what the two operates is what two thousand five hundred. If the power of the two is seven fifty watts, calculate the speed of the electrons striking the target. Calculate the speed of the electrons striking the target. So even though the the coulomb, the, the electron, the electron in what the one consistency is minus nineteen coulomb. Mass of electron is what nine point one. This is what minus what thirty one kilogram. That is what now when you remember very well that what the kinetic energy. The maximum kinetic energy of what the photo electron is equal to what if you know that is stopping potential. Electron can stop in potential, electron can stop in potential equal to half mv words square. And we have to calculate the speed of electron. So this is the speed we are looking for. We are looking to what electron is on process or stop in potential, which is what the V naught here, which is 2500 volts. Then we are given one so that easily make what V square so the word formula. So now in V naught now, we want to half mv square. Now, if you try to make the solar formula, what we get, we just cross multiply it. Cross multiply it, we have what? 2v, 2ev0, 2ev0 equals mv squared. So, that looks like an m, that looks like an m. So, v squared is equal to 2 electron v0. So, all about what? m. So, take the square root of both sides now. So V, which is the what? This is the velocity or speed, is given as the square root of two times electron. Two times electron is one point what? One point six times ten to the power of minus what? Nineteen. Multiplied by the stopping potential, which is two thousand five hundred. All over n nineteen point one nine point one times ten to the power. Minus 31. So that's so all you do now is bracket this on your bracket calculator, then you bracket everything here. You bracket everything here again. Then you now find the square root. So but you cannot do it like that. Just do it one by one. Bracket this one, bracket this one, divided by this, and bracket this one, then bracket everything. So when you press everything on calculator. You would have V equal to what? 2.96 So you can search by what? 7 meter per seconds. So that is the way. that is the velocity of the word electron. So when you press it on the that is the velocity. So that is like about question number what? Eight. Now the question number nine, which is the last question, says that in an S ray tube, an electron is accelerated from rest toward a tungsten bias at a potential of 33 kilovolts. Now the stop potential here is what? 33 kilovolts, which is equal to 33 times 10 to the power 3 volts. So that's what you mean by kilo. Kilo is 10 to the power 3. Calculate for the electron, the kinetic what? energy. The kinetic energy, we are given E here. So the kinetic energy is what? EK is equal to what? EV naught. So what is the electron? Electron is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19. Multiply by what? Stopping potential. I think it is x by what? 3. So what do you get? Let's multiply this one. 1.6 times x by minus 19. Multiply by 33 times 10 to the power what? 3. We have what? The kinetic energy is. 5.28 times 10 to the power minus 15 joule. 
Now, we are going to have to calculate the word the velocity. Now, the velocity, if I look at the, the velocity, you can know that the EK naught now, from EK naught is the same as EB naught, you call to pass and be what? So, and I'm getting what? The kinetic energy to be what? To be, to be 5.2 meters, and set where minus what? 15 joule. So EK naught is equal to what? Half MB squared. So we can find this value to EK two times what? Multiply the cross uh, into our one and cross multiply. 2 EK equal to what? MB what? Squared. Very close to the end. So velocity squared is equal to what? 2 EK over M. So we come to that. So B is equal to what? 2 times what? The energy. 2 times 5.28 times 10 raised to the power what? Minus 15. This is what I'm saying before cross bracket this one. All over. All over what? M. What is what? 9.1. 9.1. Let's get to a minus or 31. So we bracket this one. Then you generate you bracket the square root thing and then close it to us. Square root. So now that you are going to press the calculator to save your time. 4 plus 5 square root. Then press this bracket. We bracket. Then press this one bracket. Bracket. 5.2 what? 8. Okay. That is to come first. 2 times. 5.5.28 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 15 bracket close divided by open bracket now 9.1 times 10 raised to power minus what 3 bracket close then bracket everything so equal to so your velocity is v equal to 1.077 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter per second so v is equal to 1.08 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter per second so that's that about this class I've come to the end of what one particular nature of matter please if you haven't subscribed please do it press subscribe button and the special guy now to see an update from this old YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. We love you. See you next time.